We got some parts in for the bike from Portzilla. Pretty good company. Pretty much next day shipping. That and they need a couple of ceiling washers. There's your port number. Let's see here. If that was the yeah. Yeah, so there's your gasket number. If I can't see it. 10-09430-06166-00. And they're just a couple of copper washers. You can probably really find them anywhere. So the book suggests one-to-one -one ratio. Okay. Now the only ones I can find that's Yamaha is 60-40. So we're going to have to remove um, this upper cowling, this one here, and this side panel to be able to get to the antifreeze. And we have to, um, you know, when we remove this piece, we it'll expose the water pump where the drain bolt is. So there's actually a uh, drain uh, drain plug or drain bolt, and there's a vent plug. That vent plug comes into play whenever you're bleeding the system. Um, that's why I got two... Uh, two gaskets so you may not need the second gasket but I like to be uh, safe than sorry so plastics off so um there's a radiator cap a reservoir which we're going to drain get all that old <coughs> cooling out of there okay so right here is our drain all right bleed the air out of the system so we'll drain this um crack this loose put the new washer on and get ready to put that in as we're filling it do this on a cold bike. Do not be doing this with it hot and the system pressurized. It'll ruin your day. There we go. And guys, you can see all this build up on two years old. That's why we're changing it. Now, I'm gonna put a radiator cap on to my advantage. Um, that way it should create a vacuum and allow it not to drain. And you now it's probably gonna drain. See, now I'm gonna go crack open the cap and you'll see it should, it should come running out. Meter it. I'm cracking it loose, see, there it went. So you can kind of control it. This is, this is a quick, easy job, guys. This, this don't take too long. The longest part is getting the plastics off. Take this out. And this is your air bleed. So this allows you to bleed the system. You can see the little air passageway there. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the washer on these. New washer on here. And I'm gonna just start this in like this. We're gonna put this one in. And give her a shake. I took my bike off the rear stand. Maybe get some more cooling out of it. All 
not, so we're gonna call that good. All right. So this is torque to <clears throat> seven foot pounds. So I'm only gonna pull a torque wrench out. I'm just gonna give this thing a little bit of a snug. Okay, we're gonna call that good. The system first and then crack this loose and then get all the air out and then tighten it. But I wanna take it out to put a new washer on there. So that way everything is ready to go. Let's get this, uh, Let's get this reservoir tank off. Two years, so I'm gonna clean that out. <clears throat> and we are ready to start filling. Um, you just wanna get down in here and make sure you don't got any build up like I do there. You can see that dirt down in there. And of course, we're gonna clean the rubber sill off of the cap. Yeah, just make sure everything's nice and clean, ready to go back together. And it's off the stand, okay? So it's on its, on its side, which will make this the highest point. Very pre-mixed stuff. You know what? I'll put that up here. Not even a quart and a half, and it's showing full. And the fluid's going down. All right, let's go back down underneath. Let's crack this open again. Quite a bit of air left. Quart and three quarters. Tank back on. All right, this has some type of slime build up on it. So that's the initial fill. We got a reservoir filled up, the radiator, and most of the air blood out. So we're going to start it with the uh, radiator cap um, off and then see if there's any more air in the system. heat cycle and uh, we're gonna let it sit overnight and then come check the fluid again and uh, we should be good as you can see here it did rise a little bit um, but yeah we'll leave it sit overnight let it cool down <clears throat> and double check it and put it back together of course there's no leaks down here everything's dry so we let it sit overnight um, like I said, we ran through a heat cycle and we got to uh, double check our fluid here. So we're a tad bit low. 
I mean, it's right there. It's certainly down right there. So, I mean, you can see the top of it. So, we're just going to top that off and then we're going to button this, uh, button this back up and we should be good. Just see, real easy, like. There you go, real easy. That's see, perfect, right to the top. Make sure your, your level's good, which I am. So, um, like I said, you want to take a step because um, once all this plastic's back on, you can't get you can't get to this. You can't add or anything. So, you know, you might as well do this overnight, and you know, do do your initial fill, seal the system back up, let it build pressure, and then um, let it cool down overnight, and then come back the next day and just top it off. So, this on, let's push down, okay. So you gotta turn this all the way and you'll see this hook seat up against this little tab right here. Just like that, you know you're seated. Let's see here, we got this one here. Looks pretty dry. And this one there is pretty. This one here is dry, so and wipe any coolant. I got some coolant spilled down on this exhaust, so I'm gonna wipe that off before I button it up. And uh, see, I actually got some splatters right here. You want to get that off that titanium because it'll uh, it'll burn on there. So Then you gotta dip this thing down far enough to hook on. Just like that. Use your brain a little bit. That's all came out. And this ain't a gallon jug. This is only three liter jug. So um, I was thinking this was a gallon. So I was thinking, well, um, I should have three quarts coming out. No, this is, that's about right because this is only three liters. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. That concludes this one um, on how to change the coolant or flush it, whatever word you want to use. Um, some people may say just a coolant change just a drain and fill whatever um the idea is just to keep updated on the fluids but i just want to show you guys something real quick on on the inside of that uh, reservoir tank or expansion tank um you know you got your full and the minimum so let's uh see what that looks like real quick So you've got your low mark and then your fill mark. Um, keep in mind this will expand, you know, as it gets hot. So you know this is why they give you that extra airspace above the full mark. So I usually try and keep it on the full. Uh, I need to go back just top that off. But that's how it was from the factory. Some people will just want to put it to the minimum, but the reality is. Uh, if you put it the full mark, it won't ever flow. So, all right, guys, thanks for sticking around. See you in the next one.